started off with a quick recap from last session. It's been a little bit because I was busy with work and stuff. Um, last session was pretty simple. It was basically like a shopping episode. Um, and we also introduced Kindle's character, Valia. Um, the party arrived at Orbis to continue um, what they started of their adventure. Upon arrival, they found out the part about the, there was like a small minor celebration due to the teleport rocks being re enabled in Orbis Tower, er, and the party was able to find refugee at the tavern for the night. While at the tavern, er, they were f informed about how people have gone missing overnight. It, they have there were small clues about who the party was due to a letter on the table in one of the rooms, but nothing more. And the party then the next morning went to a magic shop to see what might be for sale, uninterested in anything that was there. They only left with Valia buying a book of Orbis lore. Uh, the party then headed north for the weaponsmith shop, where they learned a little bit more about the missing people and how the missing group gave items to the weapon shop owner or to be smelted into different armor and tools, but they never showed up to claim them. Uh, Kurt's character, Shushu, Sish, Shi Sui, bought a half plate armor off the shop owner for 100 gold, and, and Roz traded his axes for daggers as, as well as selling his longbow. After the weapon shop, uh, the party then. Uh, went up to the guild headquarters to check in with what might be going on. The receptionist provided them with information about how the party, about how a party, did stop by, and one of the staff members led them towards Orvis Tower in the middle of the night, but cannot remember what happened after that. Only information that could be distinctly remembered that one of them was a robot. The party was asked where they were heading and what their group name was. The group decided to be called uh, the Moonlighters. And before leaving back to the tavern, uh, Valia copied a map down from Orient and Sh uh, Shisubi bought five tickets for the carpet to Orient. Once, once, what did I put tower? Once back at the tavern, and the party waited for the ship or for the carpet it, Roz uh, split up his monster capture capsules with Kurt's character and that's where we ended the session off alright so I guess at this point we were we were waiting at the station or did I come back or you guys were waiting um, in the tavern Mm. Yeah. Alright, this is kind of bothering me real quick. Can, can you take off the shadow token? I have no idea why it's there. <laughs> Thank you. Roz recalls his shadow. <laughs> How much right. time do we have? Do we only have an hour left? Uh, we'll say about half an hour has passed. Half an hour. What time was our... What time was our... Uh... I can't even tell the character was. Was, uh... was our flight supposed to be? It's about, it's about 30 minutes from now. So if there's any last minute things you need to pick up, now would be the time. <clears throat> well, I think I'm, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Um, if anyone else has something they need to do, I guess do it. Otherwise we can just head over early. I have my bare essentials. I should be good for a while. Yeah, no, I've got the armor and then I got plenty of potions on me so I think I'm good uh 
All right, let's uh, let's head over then. Perfect. And uh, we can we start heading over. As you uh, go to leave, Kurt, the bartender kind of ushers you over to him. Mm -hmm. Sorry, did you need something? Uh, well, you know, I don't know if this will uh, help you out or anything, but I don't know. We were kind of going through the rooms once over of that missing party, and we found this. And they'll like hold out like a white uh, looking shape, kind of rubbery in the side, in the, sh in the uh, design of a mushroom. Sorry, it's like a white mushroom. It's a, uh, it's in the, sh it's in the design of a mushroom, but it's like white and thin. Okay, do you, you know what this is? Are you asking him? or? Yeah, I'm asking him. Uh, looks like to be an eraser of some kind. I don't know, what do you make of it? Mm -hmm. I don't know, it just seems like rubber to me, but... I'll hold on to it, I guess. As you, uh... As he goes to like hold it out to you, you all of a sudden you hear a whisper coming from you. Take it, take it. It's like, whoa! Did you guys hear that? Uh, everything good over there, peacefully? Huh? I addressed the barkeep. Did you hear that by chance? Mm, hear what, blood? I do, I have. do I recognize what I heard? You recognize that it sounds like it's coming from within uh, on your person. Hmm. I'll take I'll take what looks like the an eraser, and then I'll make my way back. Well, th very, oh, thank you, uh, thank you very much. Well, we're off now. Hopefully we'll see each other again someday. All right, lad. Have a nice day. Uh, enjoy your flight. All right, take care. All right, All right. no more eating. Time for us to go. I'll just give me a. This character becomes an ethereal form and just starts following you guys. Find. <laughs> Too tired to walk. Uh. <clears throat> oh, okay, cool. I thought I broke it. Time for this bird to spread her wings. Finally, time to get her move on. Thankful, thank God. Hopefully, this ship ride is better than the last one. Oh, what happened to the last one? I mean, it's. It's gotta be. It's it has to be. Like what? What? Do you remember how we came from Aqua Road? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we weren't. That wasn't how we were supposed to be coming here. Uh, ship crashed. I ended up taking a detour. How much worse can this oh, dear. get? How much worse? Well, we'll put the NPC on. And stay afloat. <laughs> Agreed. And as you, uh, guys come into the ship dock, you'll see the, uh, lady that sold you the tickets, Kurt, 
and she'll say boarding will start in 10 minutes all right thank oh, you, do you have any pain? please en please enter a uh, third portal on the left third portal on the left i don't have a <clears throat> for a flight I'm just as you guys uh enter through the portal you s off in the distance you see a magic carpet kind of making its way towards the station and as it gets closer you see it's being held by a giant genie hmm. all right oh. never mind this this might just be worse what are you the carpet about? seems very steady in the genie's hands but his his like little ghost tail Flipping through the air, coming, speeding along very quickly. I mean, that does not look as safe as a ship, so... I don't know about... well, I don't know, I disagree. As uh, the genie gets closer, he docks on the station, sets the carpet onto its landing, and you see several different people walk off, um, passing by you into Orbis before they allow you to enter onto... Uh, the ship, quote unquote. And after about an hour of several different people coming on with you, uh, the genie takes off towards our end. Oh, Ross, would you look? You say you say this is unreliable, but. Oh, and I'll address this to Kiriko as well. If uh, if Shinsu had to ca had been carrying this carpet, would you have said anything different? Uh, all right, fair, fair. <laughs> After about an hours of travel, uh, smooth sailing through the sky, the genie lands uh, in the middle of the Aryan desert. Did you say we went on a magic carpet ride? You, in fact, did go on a magic carpet ride. A whole new world. As you guys land, you land outside of Orient. Uh, the change music orient that one, yeah, this one the scorching heat of the desert hitting your guys' skin as you land and the just dry sand feel almost feeling like hitting you through the air as if of just wind smacking against your skin making it uh, seem a lot worse for the heat how are you, you doing know, over there Kiriko I imagine this must be hard for you look at you and go kind of like lift his helmet up he's like his helmet's a little hot but I have to. He, he takes it off and he kind of like sets it on his spear, or as a way to kind of help alleviate the heat. You see him kind of just like outstretch and fluff his feathers out a little bit. Valia dons her masks and puts a little cloth over her face and neck, just protect her from the sand. Right. So now she looks even more terrifying. First impressions. Don't like the heat. No, thank you. But, uh... What are you going to say? Ne when we went to Aqua Road, you would say it's too much water? I, I I much prefer the water over this heat, but... You know, what are we going to do? <clears throat> That's fair. All right. Not going to stand out here all day. Yeah. Let's get it moving. Oh. Agreed. I 
I guess we uh, start heading over into Ariant. Oh god, lag? Yeah, seems that way. Yeah. The wagon. Yep. Yeah. A little bit. It's just my internet fluctuating. That's fine. <clears throat> then, I guess I just go up to the two guards. Well, hello again. there, gentlemen. didn't snap on. As you guys approach, uh, you see two guards with spears. Um, Outside the castle wall or the castle, the town walls, and they kind of look have this stern look on them. Uh, I mean, I'll go up to them and I'll say, Hello, gentlemen, we're just passing through. Did you pay the fee yet? Pay the fee. Yes, all outsiders of Aryan have to pay a fee to enter. It's part of the new Queen's rule. Uh, Alright, how these much is the fee? They're all such a scam. Uh, Alright, and here, you, both of you are talking at once. Oh. Uh, the looking and go. Seeing, uh. Five of you. The uh, twenty silver. Just put this character in there for. All right, done. There's ten, then twenty silver. I I ain't dealing with this. <laughs> Take it, pocket the silver, and they'll stand out of the way. Oh, but fuck. Let's see. One, two, three. Five coming in. You see the doors, the castle gates slowly creak open. Allowing you to enter into our end. Head on third. Oh, that's a thing. Still not letting you drag Kurt. I don't know, I just, I wasn't sure if there's a portal or anything. No, it's just, yeah, you just walk through. Like, <laughs> I was kind of waiting. And then I just zoomed out. It's like, oh. oh let me subtract 20 silver, I guess. <clears throat> so Alia enters last, and you hear the doors just... Uh, large, uh barricade going across it coming through you'll notice the town of our aunt although small was built around an oasis in the middle of the desert with uh, a large body of water several different palm trees is and very clay like structures 
built around it. You'll also notice that there are guards everywhere. Wow. This, uh... This place is, uh... Very tight on security, huh? Ooh, what interesting architecture. I can only imagine something important's happening in the city. It's just like Erev. Alright, this is this is both Ross and me speaking. <laughs> so what are we doing in Orient again? <laughs> uh you remember you remember the uh Cygnus's uh jewel, the one that uh the bad guy was trying to pass themselves off as? Okay. We have the dust and <clears throat> Basically, I'm trying to remember if we've, if Intel led us to Orient or if that uh, Jules Dust had something to do with Orient. It was something of that nature. So, okay. Then it, Intel from Nineheart to believe that the Dust mm -hmm. was from Orient. What was the th uh, Justin? What was the thing called? It, I, I, I keep thinking Sigmus here, but I feel like that's wrong. It's in your inventory. Oh yeah, you're right. It should uh, be at least. It's just a vial of red sand. A vial. <laughs> it was a. Uh... <laughs> okay. Where's, where's the items? <clears throat> Alright, it was called okay. um, the Sky. Right. Okay, because I, I totally forgot, like, from episode one, <laughs> why we were heading over after, like, awkward. <laughs> and then I'm assuming... Are we, like, trying to track down the source, or are we trying to, like, track down, like, the rook? I would say that track down the source and the, uh... The... Which might lead to broke. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's let's see if we can uh, find out more about what's going on around here. Maybe this might be related. They did mention that something about a new queen. New queen. Okay, I did not catch that. I was... Yeah, that's why we were paying the taxes. It was <clears throat> supposedly the new queen's rule. Okay. Ah. She must be one of those greedy queens, putting up tolls everywhere. Do you know how much money I had to lose traveling because there's tolls everywhere? Ah. The, Considering is... the number of guards around, I might be I might want to be careful with what you say about the rulers of this place. And this is why a rev is better. <laughs> and this goes especially to you, Rambi. You'll kind of be like, you look over at him and he's just kind of like munching on a roll that he stole, from, took from the tavern in the morning. <clears throat> Alright, well... Maybe first order of business, why don't we... Uh, well, I don't know about you guys, but my clothes, I'm burning. And we kind of stand out like a lot. So, why don't we try to find a tailor? Well, I... Well, actually, I want to find a tailor. <laughs> and maybe get some new threads to blend in. <clears throat> I could go for some lighter robes to help stay cool. In all reality, all all, at, all uh, Ross needs to do is just cut off his sleeves, you know? <clears throat> Because um, it doesn't hurt. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll approach, like, the first person I see. Which is this. this You'll this see this guy kind of, like, right pacing back and forth, reading his paper. Oh, uh, hello, excuse me. Huh? huh? Yeah. Yes. Okay. How can I help you? Hi, I'm uh, gonna be like looking up, up at you back down as paper. 
you know, we're a little bit new around here, and we were wondering where we could find, like, a tailor. Uh, uh, kind of, like, looking, still looking over his paper. Uh, to the, to the right. You know, he'll, like, go back to pacing, uh, sorry, uh, kind of busy. Oh. You seem very, uh, concentrated on whatever you're, you're holding on to there, what? Out of curiosity, you know, uh, what what is that? Is uh, I'm 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 trying to study the uh, culture of Ariant. Oh, so you're a historian. Oh. Uh, I, I I guess you could say that. <clears throat> uh, well, my name's Ross. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh. And these are my friends. Yes, yes, uh, n nice, nice to meet you. You were wondering, um, I was also actually wondering, uh, maybe we can borrow a bit of your time, maybe you could show us around since you seem to be, since you're studying the culture, you seem to, uh, have somewhat of a grasp on it. Uh, no, 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 uh, I, I really don't have time, and he'll kind of like, I'm sorry, but, yeah, yeah, like I said, markets to the right. And he'll, like, kind of go walking off into the distance. Alright, thanks. Eh? Alright, let's go. Mm. <clears throat> so they go around. Yeah, or uh, slowly, slowly but surely. Oh god. It's like a, portal. a certain area that you have to mark on it. Ha <clears throat> ha! As you guys, uh, as you guys walk towards the market, the guards kind of give you an eye look, but don't stop you. All right. Well, I would like to look for a tailor or some place that would sell clothes. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, what's that up ahead over here? It might be what you're looking for. Maybe. Anything catch your eye, Valia? Ah, oh, what beautiful tapestries! Oh, we we've got time to kill. Let's let's look around. I know we did. You just did some shopping, but oh. this is a different place. You were the one that wanted to go shopping. I knew. Oh, fruit. As you come up here, you notice um, uh, t three men hard at work. One of them just kind of going hard on with his uh, tools against some different rocks and gems around him. Um, one of them kind of scraping different metals. And uh, the one in green kind of just taking a, a break under the shade. Well, uh... <clears throat> hey, sh Shisui. Maybe mm -hmm. you can uh, work your magic over there and maybe ask about that gem dust that you have. Oh, right. That's a very good point. I didn't think of that. Sure thing. Excuse me, sir. It'll just be like... Ting! Ting! Hammering away at the stones in front of him. I'm not hearing you. 
over the clangs. Uh, I'll speak up. Excuse me, sir. Uh, do oh, have a second of your time. Who are you? What do you want? I don't want trouble. Sorry to, dis sorry to disturb you. I bring I bring no trouble. The name, uh, my name is. You're Shisa. an outsider, uh, though. Yeah. Kind of like I look at you up and down and at your clothes and go. Hmm. Well, maybe go back maybe to like. Should have. Ting. I was wondering if you could help me. Uh, with something, since you seem to be familiar with jewels. I don't help outsiders. Nothing come, but trouble comes from them. Ting, ting. Oh, do you get outsiders here often? They'll just, they'll just start ignoring you at this point. Alright. Suit yourself. Thank you for your time. So, how'd it go? I think uh, getting some clothes would be probably a good, a top priority here. Doesn't I have? If I I have a feeling that no one's gonna talk to us unless uh, we blend in. Yeah, kind of, kind of botched the priorities. Kind of just went wholly all ADD. My bad. No, no, no. It's okay. Ah, hello. I see you have some fine fruit here. I see he was more or less passed out from the heat in the shade taking a nap. Do I see any price tags or anything? Uh, you just see fruit. I'll just snap a. I'll snatch a single grape. Do you want to make a uh, a stealth check? Okay, let's see. It's a it's skills. Um, oh yeah, you did right. Okay. Oh, dirty twenty. Okay, yeah. Snack, snatch, snatch, yeah. Snag a grape, and you're able to snag just a little bit more than say like a little bit of a vine, and slip it into your pocket. Uh, I taste a grape. Oh. oh, so refreshing in this hot heat. Yeah, so it looks like my need to blend in a bit more. Though, not to be racist or anything, it might be a bit harder for... Uh, I was gonna say for you, uh, for you and Kiriko, but who knows? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean by that? I think I blend in very well. My robes are beautiful. Oh, well, this is true. This is definitely true. <clears throat> Real but they also is. might speak a uh, or speak to not being from here. Real question is uh whether we'll be able to even get any ropes at all. Well, let's find them first before we can uh, deal with the rest. Yep. And, uh, guess we'll, uh, keep looking around. Is there any, like, buildings or stalls with, like, I don't know, clothes hanging from them. Are um, there any like... signs outside the yeah. doors? Or signs. Oh, no signs, really. Just uh, as you're walking by, you can see, like, different vendors with what they have for sale. 
some mainly food, some pottery. Well, this is an interesting market system. Do you see anything that's like... I mean, yeah, tailor-made clothes hanging from a stall or anything. I like make a perception check or something for that. Yeah, go ahead. Ooh. Heels. Roll. Twenty-one. Uh, you see, you don't see some uh, some. You don't see some clothes, but you do, in fact, see children running. From what looks like the uh, guards. Oh, the guards no, shouting no. at them. Get back here, thieves! Thieves! And the children uh, kind of scatter off behind you, um, going different ways, trying to break, split up. You'll see this one um, kind of dive in behind the pots. All right, well, uh, I suggest we kind of wait too, but it might be a little bit too late. You'll see the guards running up there. You there, outsiders! Did you see the thieves? A thief? What did they look like? The children! Mm -hmm. a... Sorry, we just arrived. I don't. Uh, I'm not quite familiar with these children. You didn't see any children run past here. I think I may have seen some go further uh, west from here, but not quite sure. Thank you, thank you. And they'll, they'll, all three of them will go running off toward the west. All right, that went better than I thought. I'll make my way over here. It's like this one will poke her head out guessing... and say, "Oh, uh, th thank you for not giving me up." It's okay. What I'm um, guess we're uh, so why are you running from them? Are you an actual thief or? Well, uh, my my friends dared me to steal some bread, but uh. The guard saw us, and it was just—it was just a joke. I mean, I wasn't gonna eat it, but I mean, now they think that's for bread. That's. We, we, I mean, we are kind of hungry. And she'll like kind of like be shy about it. Roswell, Roswell, take out five gold. Uh, put it in her hand, and say next time. Take it from a professional, don't get caught. And what do you mean a professional? I mean, are you, that's my what whole kind job. of values are the Cygnus Knights teaching you? Yeah, are you a thief? As she says, eating a grape. <laughs> well, I guess probably worse one than you, seeing as how you can just go out and get some grapes. From random people. They are lovely. Would you like to try some? <laughs> <laughs> like, broad daylight. <laughs> anyway, anyway, young one. Uh, is everyone normally, uh, is everyone normally, uh, wary against outsiders around here? I don't get you, um, Yes, uh, it, we don't get a lot of people traveling that look, and then she'll kind of like point at Roz, this is his outfit, and 
Valia's uh, purple outfit. Like, and they'll say, like, kind of like wealthier class. Interesting. So what? It, so what? Um, is it nor? Would uh, shoot. Sorry, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even sure what my questions are at these at this point. Uh, do you know anyone that sells clothes around here? Well, yes, she's over there, and she'll point. Uh, make a go down the street here and make a, a left. Did you ping? Did you ping like right here? Okay. How much gold did you give her, Apto? Uh, five. <clears throat> Be sure to spend it wisely. And yeah, don't get caught next time. Uh, she, no, uh... just no. That's not the lesson here. The lesson here is don't steal. <laughs> I think the lesson here is only steal from people who can afford it. Or you know, like the I have ones plenty that, of grapes. The ones that can't see you. She goes, Alright, well have a nice day and she'll give each one of you uh, a hug and go running after her friends. I will check my person for my purse of coins. <laughs> Do, 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 do I still have my 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 uh, my money? You have your money on you. Okay. All right. Well, let's go get some. Let's go get some rubs. All right. I, I my computer froze when she or when uh, Justin pinged where she pointed. So. Oh, bottom right corner. Okay. All right. Around let's go. here. We'll just Oh, are you a dancer? You know what? Think about it. We probably should have asked for the girl, that young one's name. Ah, it's fine. She probably would have lied. It's fine. Is that something that the Cygnus Knights would do? No, but I mean, think or about it. Or is it just you? Think about it. The street urchins around here. I know if I was in their place, I wouldn't easily give up any personal information about myself <laughs> but you know I'm me so I don't care <laughs> excuse us miss oh oh yes oops yes yes how may I help you uh we were told that you uh you'd be able to sell or you sell clothes around here or oh yes yes Just curious as to what you have available to you. Uh, what, what kind of clothes are you looking for? Uh, something to just help with the heat. Uh, we're not exactly from around here. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, you're gonna be like a uh, different set of clothes here to keep the heat off you. You want to? Uh, I should kind of like point to your guys' clothes. Those you're all wearing a lot of dark colors. Um, you're just going to absorb the heat in that way. You're going to want to stick to more brighter colors. It kind of keeps the heat off of you. Good to know.
How much for uh, how much for a set? Well, uh, I'll be honest. Uh, prices are a little bit pricey now because of all the taxes going on. Uh, Is this something recent by chance? Y yeah, ever since that new queen um, came in, and I, I guess she married the king. I don't know. She's kind of been taxing everybody. We haven't heard much from the king, though. Hmm. Interesting. Do you I... happen to know uh, the queen's name, by chance? I, you know, I don't. Like I said, she just came in, and, and we don't know where she came from. Um, uh, just how... that... Uh, how recent is she just came in? Uh, about like a month. A month. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that being said, so we understand the your tax situation. How much would how much will it be? Uh, it's a for a set of uh, uh what's it called? Uh, where is it? I just had it. For a set of uh, just basic clothes, it's gonna be one gold a person. That does include uh, top. Uh, a little like cape that you can wrap around um, your either your head or over your face to keep the sand out. I know it's, it gets a little dusty outside. <laughs> it just kind of slaps her her knee. Very well. I'll hand over a gold piece. All right, sure. Also, hand over a gold piece. I got a gold piece and hand it to her. What about uh your little friend there? Does, does he need uh anything? And you'll s you guys can see uh Kiriko kind of behind. Looking a little uh, exhausted, and hat or helmet still on his uh, spear. Oh no, one hundred percent he needs it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll say. I don't, that you go. Uh, I don't think I have anything. Uh, a headband. Yeah. Let Let's see what I got. Uh. That'll, uh, that'll help with your sweat there. I don't really got a headband, but, like, she's, like, she'll kind of, like, I got just random fabric, and she'll kind of spin it up and into, like, a square, and kind of she'll go over and just wrap it around his head, kind of, like, lifting up his feathers. Uh, that one's on me. Well, thank you. Much appreciated. You're welcome. By, ch by chance, is security always this tight around here? Well, or is this also because of the new queen? Also because of the new queen. She's got uh, a lot of people. Uh, she doesn't like uh, the sand bandits. She doesn't like them. Uh, the red scorpions, she doesn't like. And she just thinks they're troublemakers, but I mean, they've helped us out in the past, but... I don't know, it's kind of hard, or I don't know where they've gotten and disappeared off to. Interesting. Uh, so, wait, so the sand bandits and the scorpions actually help the town? Uh, well, they, they kind of clash with each other, because they they both have their own agenda. Uh, but it's mainly the, the sand bandits that have helped the town in the past. Is there any... Distinguishing features they might have. Not can... really, no. Um, you just kind of have to know who to look for. Interesting. All right. Uh, <laughs> actually, one more question. Uh, so when when this new queen moved in, did she 
proclaim that she wasn't from any bloodline or anything? Uh, like you said, I don't really, we don't really have a lot of information on the new queen, just that she came in, um, from orders of the king, and that's all we, we've heard. The, the king brought her here, supposedly. Hmm. Do you happen to know a, a good jeweler around here? Well, uh, let, did you talk to, try talking to Muhammad up in the n northwestern part? Uh, just before getting into the market? Uh, let's just say he wasn't quite friendly. He's not exactly friendly with outsiders. Yeah, a lot of people aren't. Um... You could try talking to the guys at the tavern, see what they uh, recommend. I, I know they're usually kind of up uppity, but um, they're always kind of helpful. Where's uh, where's the nearest tavern? Uh, she'll point other side of the main road in the top left corner. Or, uh, that's right. Okay. Main road. Yeah, the the topmost part of the the corner, you'll see a nice divot in where the oasis is. Yes, that's the tavern. Okay, good to know. All right. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. What was your name again? We didn't quite catch it. Uh, my name is Lilia. Lilla. L I L A. Lilla. Lilla. Yes, that's how you say it. Oh. Okay. Lola. All right, Lola. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you've been a great help, and uh, I'll pull an extra gold piece and tip her. Uh, oh, uh, a, a tip for your generosity. Oh, oh, uh, thank you. And, uh, All right. At this point, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put the robes on if I haven't already. Yeah. Well, I'll change them to them too. Me as well. And burning through gold, let's go. <laughs> Hold on, go really quick. Mm -hmm. The price of doing business. Honestly, just waiting, waiting for a chance to cast a spell. <laughs> Where it makes sense. All right. What would the party like to do? All right. Well. Uh... You guys want to check out the tavern, or is there anything else uh, in the market that really caught your eye? Mm. <clears throat> I don't know. I think I'm okay for now. Let's say let's head over to the tavern. All right. Let's go check out that tavern, eh, guys? Well, thank you for your time, Lilip. Just as you... Uh... She's gone back to her sewing and just kind of gives you a little head nod. Oh, these robes are so light and breezy. I do feel a little bit cooler. In both ways. White really isn't my color, but it's fine sometimes. Well, I'd, I'd love to keep wearing black, but the sun, no sir. No sir. No, she gets, tell uh, you about it. My feathers get so hot. Like you guys uh, take the time uh, to cross back over to the main street 
main taverns, you'll notice that the guards are less staring at you, but still slightly staring more. Or staring less at you, but still staring. As you are still outsiders. And you'll take the time to pass through the uh, housing section and past multiple different camps set up. And you'll arrive at the uh, tavern. Oh, quite a spacious tavern we have here. Oh, this is much bigger than Orbis. As you get into the tavern, and one of the guys will jump out of your seat. Oh, yes, my friends, welcome. Welcome to our tavern. Welcome to, what is it called? Welcome to the Salty Thieves. How can we help you? We are travelers from Orbis. Orbis, I love Orbis. So much in the clouds. Very vibrant, clean air. I love it so much. Very wonderful, very wonderful. You know, they just had a festival there. The uh, I wish I could have gone. I love parties. Oh, it was so much fun. I won a prize. <laughs> what, what did you win? What did you win? Show me, show me. Uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, Justin, I, like, uh, I dig around my bag. I pull out like a little tiny, like... <laughs> one of those toys, like the low-tier toys, like, you tried, so here's this. <laughs> oh, I guess you did not do very good then. <laughs> kind of like a little smug and, and hand it back to you. You know, those, those games, they make them harder and harder every time. Yes, yes, yes. I, uh... I never win them. What were you saying after? Uh, sorry. Uh, while she is talking to, uh, I don't, I don't know if he, he said his name, but while he's talking to that guy, uh, can I look around to see if, you know, anyone's looking at us funny? Um, if anyone's what? Just looking people. Uh, just anything suspicious or any people giving us glance, uh, weird glances? As you can tell, um, everybody else, besides from the guards, um, having, like, a, a food break, everybody else seems to be kind of just keeping to themselves. Okay. Yes, yes. Oh, we are just arrived and we are getting acquainted with the town. Yes, this guy will come over. Brother, how, what are you doing with our new friends? Come on, offer them something to eat. Maybe a drink. Do you guys need a, a place to stay for the night? Well, actually, yes, we would. Yes, yes. Uh, come on, come on in. Have a seat at the table. Wonderful, wonderful. And this is the part where I wish I looked at that Fuse Cat video. <laughs> oh, did you not download that PDF I sent you? I, I just totally forgot. Yeah. Cause, uh, yeah, I've been busy with a lot of stuff lately. Wait, what's this, what's this PDF? Uh, give him, like, a PDF for, like, Thieves Camp. Yeah, mm. I guess that, yeah. Let me take a quick look at it. If I can, uh... So, tell me, my friends, what are, what are you planning? What what brings you to Orient? And he'll, like, this guy will, uh, turn around and kind of snap his fingers. 
And, um... This lady will... Bring over some refreshments and kind of set them on the table along with, like, an appetizer. And back to the kitchen. Oh, I'm it's not much, but uh, water for all. Uh, the basic human uh, and bird needs water. It's much appreciated. You know, like uh, go and snack on his the chips that she brought over for him. Uh. As to what we're doing here, we're actually... We're looking for a j someone who's familiar with jewels. Uh, that'd be Mohammed. But, uh, he don't take kindly to outsiders. You have to, like... Old, he's old school. You have to, like, prove, uh, that you belong here to him. Well, what did... Uh, yeah, no, I, I kind of got that impression when I was talking to him today. Uh, yeah, though... old man, crazy. Not, uh, not very, uh, friendly to people. Is it the only jeweler in town? Only jeweler. He's the one that works with the Lydium the best. I'm sorry, the who? Lydium. Do, you don't know Lydium? It's the, no. it's the main, uh, jewel we, uh, uh, how you say, uh, refine in Ariant. How? Oh, no. uh, are there no other Lydium. jewels that are... Uh, there are other jewels. We we take the sand, you know, we make it into rocks and other stuff. But every time we find a, a Lydium ore, we take it to Mohammed and he does his magic with it. Interesting. Does And he, and he handles the other... Uh, the other dusts and jewels as well? We're the most part, yes. Yeah, for the most part, we're just, uh, I gotta just pull out the vial in my hand. Just like, we're more just curious as to where this, uh, where this particular, uh... As you reach uh, another pot, your pockets. Oh, no. And that's why I checked my pockets. <laughs> did, did you, Ross? Uh, wait. When, uh, when I got hugged? Yeah. Did you? I, I I literally said I am checking my person for my. You did person. say that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, for your money, right? Uh, oh. Money. <laughs> God damn it! All right, well, I see. Like, I just, oh, I'll, you've got to be kidding me! I'll I'll check my person since I see oh, him. What is wrong? It's gone. What's gone? What's it's gone, my friend? The jewel, oh. the you don't have way to pay for the night? Pardon? Mm -hmm. Scamper got us good. Scamper? What do you mean, Scamper? <sighs> oh. Uh, let's just say... We've been had by a, a couple of little thieves. Little thieves, uh, I don't understand. Don't... you know... <clears throat> You know what? D don't worry about it. It's, it's uh, it's probably something that you guys, you know, probably don't deal with too much since uh, they probably don't go into the inn really. I checked my pockets. Is there anything missing? Yeah, I'm checking my pockets while I say this. I'm checking my pockets to see what's missing. Just look in your inventory. <laughs> Did, did Justin edit my inventory? Yes. Like our inventory? Our? Probably. See, I don't even know. I'm missing a dagger. Am I missing a dagger? Did I get two daggers? I don't remember anything, dude. <laughs> did she steal my grapes? <laughs> she did not steal your grapes. She did steal your shovel, though. Oh, that's what's missing. How'd she get away with a shovel? <laughs> and Raj, she did take it, was able to slip a dagger out of your uh I fucking knew belt. it. Belt. Alright. Well, 
I don't know how she pulled a whole shovel out of my backpack. Yeah, that's what I want to know. How did she pull, pull a whole ass shovel? Or is it... Or did Valia have, like, one of those small shovels that, like... It was a small... It's like a small hand shovel. Like, like an archaeology shovel? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to be the next thing we're going to have to so figure out. This guy will speak Bye. up uh, It's like, you say small, but uh, most people here are adults. Are you inferring the children took something from you? Yes. Mm. You can probably find them outside uh, playing around, but most of the children uh, are just children uh, they don't take much they, they, i mean they probably just playing games yep no no it's i get it <laughs> in fact i see a group of them who like look out the window i see a group of them right now playing they're outside playing ball all right uh you guys you guys stay here i'm just gonna go check that out real quick i'm just gonna dash to the door oh boy <laughs> oh. I get some wine. It's weird, man, since you're. Yeah. Everybody able to see fun? Uh, so where would the token be? It's... I'm putting it down. Okay, cool. Get him, Kurt. Oh, okay, get him. Not on. <laughs> Do I see the children? Yeah, you see them over here. Okay. Um. Oh, sorry, I couldn't see. Let me work over right here. Go off to the side. Do I just do I just place my token somewhere, or is it, or is Kurt just outside right now? Yeah, I'm outside. Okay, that's just yep. Okay. Yeah, if you can't see, uh, just put your token in here. Okay. It's more that you guys are like inside the building, so you can see. Got, got shit. There we go. You're like looking through the window. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's your plan, Kurt? <laughs> Uh, so I just quickly, uh, I quickly just inform them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head on after them. You guys stay. You guys can stay here if you want, but uh, and just uh, maybe maybe get some more information about from the tavern guys and figure that out. But uh, you you know what, um, Ross, well. Ross will go out with Kurt, but he will walk the other way. And he will, like, try to stealth through buildings. Okay. Um, because, wait, wait. Alright, wait, point of order. Jesus Christ. So, so I, I'm not, like, fucking... Do, do we see where they are? Like, if... Yes, yeah, they're over here. They're, like, straight ahead. They're okay, outside yeah. there. You see them playing around with like a small ball. Ross kind of will... just passing it between each other. Yeah, Ross will try to stealth through like buildings or tents or something. And he... I would say the goal is to cut them off right here. I right here. Can... Yeah, so... My my goal is to like... Not I click again. Them. Uh... Okay. My goal is to like you know Seth around and not be seen by them so that uh, they at least have to run through Kurt. All right. <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm probably not gonna talk. <laughs> okay. All right, Roz. You uh you take this entrance over here and make your way over to the other side there. I will make my way th uh to the tents and try and sneak up on them over there. Uh, either through this this entrance or through here or go around through here. Right. Worst case scenario, they run into they run into me going this way, or they run into you going that way. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, what? So if we if we see them running, uh, do you want to 
Uh, do you, anything you want to shout in particular? Out like a cobra? Oh. Something to know, like if something went wrong while we were sneaking. <laughs> uh. So that's a, that's a cool quote, right, dude? I don't know, you got. Uh, do you have anything in mind? Uh. Let's. Let's say, uh. Pericos on the loose. Alright, that's. First of all, that's, that's a little bit too, uh. too long. Probably one would phrase. Okay, so... fine. Do you. Um... <laughs> How about something. Uh. How about. Night... Nightwalk is uh, familiar with. How about the word Yahtzee? Yahtzee, sure. <laughs> uh, I really can't think of anything, so... Alright. I'm gonna try and stealthily... So... Alright, so I'm gonna try and stealthily uh, go through these... Uh, like, just go th down th this way kind of thing, but... Uh, oh. Within your speed limits, make uh, every time you hit a max speed, uh, roll a stealth check. I think. Sure wait, thanks. Wait, real, real quick, Kurt, you told yeah. me to go. Uh, told me to go this. This. Sorry, way? I'm not. I'm not gonna. Uh, just oh, to yeah. show the path, I was implying the following. Because I, I got, I got distracted by uh, by uh, Justin moving around being curious, though, so I didn't see. Any... Do you see my? Uh, do you see my? Okay, path so right that now? that path. Okay. Okay. So. We'll, like, split off at, at the end of the tent or something, basically. Yeah, and my plan is to go... And then here, or something okay, like that. Okay, yeah, that, that's awesome. All right, cool. <laughs> Every time you hit a... You mm -hmm. extend to a yellow, just uh, make a stealth check. Okay. So, like, right before your yellow, make a stealth check. Yeah, so here, and then... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, uh, and then next <laughs> movement. What a professional <laughs> Ross is, man. Uh, and I'm just gonna move, I guess. I don't know if there's yes, a difference. You guys are keeping low, kind of like a chill profile. You got new clothes on, and you're not really drawing attention to yourself or saying hello as you're walking by the pa the camp tenants. Are we fully covered? What do you mean by fully covered? Like with these robes on, or like? Uh... No, you have it over your hair and whatnot. You, you basically look different, completely different. All right, I'm. So at this point, I'm going to stand up and nonchalantly. I'm going to try and cover my face as much as possible. And I'm just going to make my way just around in this. Or I'm going to just stand here for a minute. I'm just going to wait for Ra uh, Roz to pass through. Yeah, I think Roz has to kind of... Because if, if I were to go if I were to go through here, or like where Crit's going, and then split off here kind of makes no sense, so Ross would probably, like, cut through a tent, so it's mm -hmm. a little bit more out of eyesight, and then, like, keep moving forward. How do I, uh, is it shift to, uh... To space. navigate path, it's space. Space, okay. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yep. You, see, you see the kids just kind of kicking the ball around. <laughs> All right. Uh, bounces off okay. the tree. Yeah, you go to recover it. I have luck. <laughs> I need to remember that. <laughs> okay, so stealth, stealth check. Stealth check. I am using luck. I am using luck. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, where is that lucky? I hope that you use it. I don't know. Yeah, you just. Use a charge okay. off of it or whatever it is. Okay. Alright. Uh 
Uh. Oh man. As you're walking this way, you hit a rock and you kind of like, 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 try to make it look like you just basically trip, but you're like, oh, walk there. Ooh, point to it. You keep walking. The guard kind of like looks at you like, rough. like, watch where you're going. Sorry, tripped. And then I'll uh, keep walking. That's rare. Make sure you deduct a point off Lucky. Uh, okay. Let's do that. So I don't it's on your resource page. On the main page. Just, it'll say Lucky oh. 3 out of 3. Just make it 2 out of 3. Stealth check. Oh, thank God! Finally, <laughs> finally. Dude. As you get to the end around this corner, or you kind of just like make a quick dash for it, yeah, as you're out of sight from the kids. I'll like, I'll like post up behind this tent, I guess, and just like be landing against it. These guards will uh, go through the gate here to the other side. Close it behind them. A high number. <laughs> I'm going to st stealth. Well, I'm just going to just start. Uh, I'm going to come out here. I see Roz, and I'm going to just just not just not looking at them specifically. Just head down. I'm just making my way towards the. I'm going to make my way towards the gate. And then I and I look, uh, I look slightly up, and it's like, oh, are you just having some fun with the ball? As you're walking through, he kicks it to his friend, going, uh, going, 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 going this way. Mm -hmm. Kicks the ball to his friend. Yes, sir. But I feel like it's cool. gonna get picked with a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well don't mind me. You you kids have fun. And then as soon as I get here Oh, God, oh yeah, just I just tap her on the shoulder. Oh, that that remi that reminds me. Um And I go, huh? You, uh, sorry? She kind of like, look at you, uh-oh. Listen. I get it. I'm not mad. The only thing I want back is just that little vial that you took. After that, I'll leave you alone. I don't know what you're talking about. She kind of like, back up towards her friends. I, and before, and as she says that, I grab her. I immediately grab her. Oh boy. Make a, uh. That is grapple again. Let's forget grapple. Uh. Oh, man. It's usually something strength related. Oh man. Oh man. I think Can it's I just a strength, strength check. All these spells, like, do damage. No. I don't want to use those. Oh! Oh, I'm, it's your, it's I'm your call as to what it is. I'm sad. You know what, Kurt? As I as I like post it up, I could have just mage hand dude, and tried to uh, look for the bow that way. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's the, so. What do you want me to do, Justin? I'm reading it right now. Let's <laughs> Go, go and make a, uh... Athletics? Yeah, an athletics check, but with, um... Oh, with say dex. Athletics or acrobatics? Athletics, but with dex. Well, athletics is dex. Oh, no, sorry, no. Athletics is strength, but acrobatics is dex. Yeah. So I could choose either or. 
Yeah, whatever you, whichever you prefer. <clears throat> oh, big roll. Go and you kind of like grab her on her shoulder. Uh, uh, uh where are you going? And she kind of like, guys. Hey, leave her alone. Kind of like pick up the ball and throw it at you. Uh, uh, is she, is this kid light? Would I be able to pick her up? Uh, she's medium sized, so no. Okay. Um, while Kurt is um, <clears throat> while Kurt's while well, I see Kurt, you know, uh, not Kurt. I see uh, Shisui uh, getting into a scuffle and trying to hold down the girl. I will cast a mage hand using my gloves and go try ahead. to go through her pockets for a vial. Or for the vial. Yeah, she cast mage hand uh, while magic triggers. Uh, did I do that? There you go. <clears throat> so, what I do for ma or wild magic? It is my stuff rolling anymore. <clears throat> so Roll. Guys, I'm scared. As you go and cast uh, wild magic for the or yeah, mage hand, a wild magic surge happens, originating from the base of your gloves, and uh, you now, you and all creatures within 30 feet of you. So 30 feet is. Oh no. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. Oh no, I don't like that either. Yeah, it's around here. <clears throat> 30 feet is like... This radius. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Or now a uh, vulnerable to force damage. Oh, okay, that's not as bad as I thought. Okay, cool. For one minute. Uh... Am I vulnerable to force damage as well? Everyone, you and all creatures within 30 feet of you gain vulnerability to force damage for one minute. Oh, that's 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 nifty. <clears throat> okay, and yeah. The mage so, hand. Yeah, the mage hand is trying to go through her pockets and take out the gem dust of vial. If she does have it. As you kind of like are standing there, you see a spectral hand come out from Apta's gloves and just start kind of going through the girl's pockets. And you find the gold that Apta gave her, but nothing else. Uh, I, I don't care about that. <clears throat> um... Man, but it doesn't feel right to just leave it with her, you know? Yeah, you know what? I'll take the gold. I'll take the gold back. Alright. If, if you cross a thief, you better, you better be prepared, bro. <clears throat> and I will... No, that's it. I didn't set up my shadow earlier, which I should have. Listen, you can play dumb with me, or at this point, I'm gonna kind of, kind of raise my voice and try and intimidate. Uh, it's like, listen, you don't want to, you do not want to mess with me right now. Like I said, I will let you go, but only if you give that that one item. I don't know what you're talking about, Mister. She'll kind of like, um, kind of wiggle her her way 
uh, make a uh, another make an, acrobat. Yeah, yeah. No, I should have set up some machine. My head. Well, it's because I was in the wrong roll. She rolled a uh, twenty, so she'll kind of like back up, escape out of your grapple, and back up. And he'll come in front of the way, like, like, stop bothering her. Well, there is one way you can get me to stop. And I step for after that, I'll step forward. What do you want? I want that little <clears throat> vial that had red sand in it. That's it. Uh, I will, I will leave my echo where I'm standing. So, I guess I go. And then I'll walk out. Let me just. Do that, do the thing. Okay, well, I have my shadows on top of my character. <clears throat> and I will... Select token. I will walk out. And I will hold up the five gold pieces I stole from her. Because I don't think she realizes that I stole it from... Did... I don't think she realizes that I took it from her yet. No. So I'll hold up five more pieces, or hold up the five pieces of gold, and I'll say, "All right, five more pieces. Where did you, uh, where did you put the vial? And if you have it, hand it over, and you know, we can make this uh, pleasant for both of us." Oh, look, kind of looking. He's like, "Why does it matter?" It was just sand. Yes, but it was. It, let's just say there's plenty of it around us. Uh, not quite like that one, unless you know where that sand in particular came from. No, but I mean, it's sand. Then you wouldn't mind giving it back. Whatever, it's, it's in our sand. tent. All right, well, take me to it. to the first tent here. And I'll start kind of rifling through his tent and come back out. This it's like a small vial of red sand. Was that all you wanted? Like, uh, you're, you're harassing us for this? Yep. That's it. And I will go to take that. Whatever. I will, I will put the five gold in his hands and say, well, see, there you go. You guys are so, rude. You do the right thing, you get rewarded, and next time... No, you know what? You got us. You got us. But and Whatever, mister. Exactly, and that's exactly why I told you that this is not a good life. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't finish speaking. Next time, you better know who you're stealing from because. And I pull out a dagger. It, it'll it'll go wrong real fast if you don't know who you're stealing from next time. <clears throat> she pull out your dagger. She kind of pulls out the one she stole from her. Leave my friend alone. That's adorable. That's adorable. And, All right. Uh, now that I've got the vial back, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my way back to the tavern. Actually, can I get to roll intimidation for that? Sure. Cause, cause, uh, yeah, that that was the goal of that. God fucking damn it! <laughs> All right. Anyway, I I'll take the vo I'll take the vial and I'm gonna start heading back. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow, and I'll. Uh, she'll also um, she'll roll intimidation against you, and she hits a nat twenty and go. I said, oh, hell leave no. my friend alone. That's adorable. I'm not gonna hurt him, but you you know what, short stack? You think you're scary? Keep thinking that. 
And I will... Um, as I walk away, I want to make sure that I have everything on me. And if not, it's gonna get ugly. <laughs> so, do I have to make any type of check for that? Say again? Uh, do I have to make any type of check to make sure I have, like, everything on me as I walk away? Well, you're currently intimidated by her. I mean, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to check my person as I've been robbed one time before. Alright, whatever. And then Shadow just dissipates because it's too far from me. <clears throat> and we head back in. We don't even know your name. Gosh. A bunch of rude asses. I don't even want the dagger back for it. No, I don't. Well, you lost the dagger then. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Could you add the uh, the vial back into my inventory? Yeah. You know, we we met, we we got our goal, but uh, nah, I'm not gonna. Fuck. I I I really did not want to use a luck point there. It's okay. <clears throat> Listen, uh, worst case, I could have caught up to them. Yeah. All right. All right. So, uh, While we're heading back, okay. what happened in the tavern? Yeah, what happened in the tavern? I drank a bunch of wine and talked with the two bartenders. Valley had a great old time. Okay. Oh, you're telling me that the Oasis was been here for that long kind of yes yes my friend uh very much long time uh we built city we built tavern that's why we you see we, we were red yes it's because we uh not not really royalty but you know wealthy tavern very much old school ah uh, my blue friend and uh purple man uh, did you get, uh, from the kids? I, I saw, uh, commotion out there. Uh, everything okay? Yeah, Actually, no, everything's fine, and I will go to... pull out the, the vial. I got what I was, I got, uh, I got my thing back. So, so she so. took sand from you. That, wow. that's, that was what the commotion was about? Let's just say this was something, uh, uh, my let's just say my sensei had asked me to look into so as much as it is What's it, what is a uh, sensei is it, sin, is it that right, right how I said sensei <laughs> what is yes. it's like a, it's like a teacher teacher a Got, gotcha gotcha yes yes uh, uh, but why why red sand there's plenty of it well, that's the thing. Well, from where we're from, actually, there isn't a lot of it. So, if any at all. And from what we had heard, it's... We know it came... We were told that it came from here, but we didn't know exactly what it is. I see, yes. So uh, it, was a ju it was a jewel. That's what we know. A jewel? Mm-hmm. Though it seemed like it was... Uh, I don't want to say a fake jewel, but... It's, uh, it was unusual. That was all we know. So that's why we're looking to ask around and see if anyone knew what this was exactly. Well, I, I remember, uh, a man came looking for some kind of, like, pyramid-looking jewel. Uh, we, we directed him to, uh, Red, but uh, convinced him he wanted Red, but, you know, uh, he was just men. Uh, kind of like looks at his brother like it, was, it didn't seem dangerous. No, and his brother. Uh, yeah, not danger, but you know, uh, just men didn't didn't speak much. Uh, kind of just came and left. Were they also an outsider? Uh, yeah, but he, like, he just came around, came, left, same day, gone. 
I'm gonna assume the answer was no. Came more from the north, though. Oh? Towards, like, uh, you know, Magesha area, but... Magesha, at least five-day travel. And that, so that's where he came from. Is that also where he headed towards? No, he, uh... He headed towards the boat. Or the, in the genie, but... I didn't see him get on it. So, uh, I don't know what he was planning. Just kind of walked out onto the desert. Just the sandstorm the other week. Interesting. Past the genie, what else... What is out there? Sand. Wow. Nothing. Is it nothing? <laughs> as far as I know, nothing. Hmm. Well, that's a good lead. Might be worth checking out. Maybe, uh... Maybe that person will lead us to where, uh, where this thing came from. Yes, but, uh, so what, what do you want to do with this red sand that you have? Oh, well, first we just want to know what it is and where it came from. Well, it's, uh, sand. It's all around us. <laughs> he chuckles. To him and his brother start chuckling. Uh, I don't know what much to tell you. Uh, we were frying the sand. Is this the same as every other piece of sand on the ground? Like, you'd mentioned that, uh, like, certain ones, uh, would be used to form different jewels. Oh, uh, let me see it, and he hold, holds out his hand. He takes a look at the sand. It's got a slight sheen to it, like, you know, sparkle. A uh, little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow in there. Uh, just the, the way the sand uh, developed over time, but I guess it make fine jewel. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look magical. Yeah, we had a feeling it wasn't magical, but it's just more... More for us, the origin is where... is the important part. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, Orient. <laughs> kind of like... Yep. Uh, But okay, we've. We'll see what we can find from there. Or I very much appreciate the uh, your insight. Yes, yes. Uh, but also, um, you know, a tavern isn't free. So you you spend in the night, uh, or. Oh, of course. So in fact, I'm actually pretty hung. I'm actually hungry. How about you, Raz? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Hungry, you say? Yes. Uh, chips, uh, potatoes on the meal tonight. Uh, don't got a lot of uh, wares in just yet waiting for shipment, but uh, potatoes. You like potatoes? Yeah, I love potatoes. So All right, let me go get you some are. potatoes. I'll go. I'll go running off. And I look to his partner and he's like, so how much, for, how much uh, does it cost to stay the night? The night, uh, ten silver person, or uh, we got the big room. Uh, I'll cut you deal. Uh, uh, forty-five silver for the big room. What do you guys think? The big room come with table to sit at, couple beds, bathtub, running water. Oh, uh, sure, let's go with that then. You got Unless really you excited for a bathtub. My, oh? My feathers are full of sand. I mean, if you want to also bath, uh, there's always the oasis. Uh, it's more or less how you prove yourself. You uh, either drink from it, bathe in it, whatever. Ooh. Why would a. Uh... Bathing or drinking from the oasis prove anything? Oh, uh, you know, old school traditions and stuff. This guy will come back. Oh, yes, my friend. Here we go. Potato it is. It'll slap a thing of baked potatoes on the ground or on the table. It's a uh, five silver or a potato. Sure. Uh, I'll hand over the 45 silver and then I'll, uh, and then I'll hand over the five. So let's see, 30, 20, so 180. 
No, just start dig. I just start to dig in. Oh yes, thank you, my friend. Sorry for the uh, expense. You know, taxes and stuff. No, no, no. That's actually that's been something I've been hearing a lot recently. Something about the the new the new queen. Oh yes, the brat herself. She uh she tax everybody. You know, three percent this, twenty percent that, five percent on this. It's a gold here, three silver here. is is very annoying. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised. Like, uh, I don't know. This this does does this seem abnormal to you guys? Uh, no. He, he, small tax, like one percent here, two percent on this. This king always charges. Uh, we like king, but all of a sudden he get a new wife and money just leaking everywhere. Can't can barely afford her tavern now. Sorry, excuse me. Um, yeah, no, it's rough, but I get this feeling that uh, have you guys actually seen this uh, or seen the new queen? Oh uh, yeah, she wrote pain in the ass. But the as, as he says that, the guards in the corner will kind of smack their spear on the ground. I did no, you know what they mean. Okay. I understand. I understand. Um, just, just so we know, uh, just so we know, what is, uh, what is your Majesty's name? What's her name, brother? Uh, name what? Uh, uh, it started with uh, kind of like snapping his fingers together. I started with an A, uh, uh Ar Arid, Ar Ardin, or Ar 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 Ardin, I th want to say his name. I could be wrong. Or, no, brother, it'll crack and go. Arida. Arida, that, that's what it is. Yes, yes. And the king? Oh, king. Abdullah the Eighth, oh, praise his soul. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's good to know. And as I'm just, I'm still just continuing to eat at this point. This is just eating and listening. I'm just picking up my potato. <laughs> so, uh, my friends, you, uh, you see the oasis yet? You prove yourself? Uh, like my brother said? Oh, we have not had the chance yet. Oh, yes, uh, you should probably do that as soon as possible, you know, and nobody else very friendly like us. But, uh, once, once you, uh, prove yourself, uh, everybody kind of friendly, you, you know what I mean? So what exactly do you have to do? Uh, like he's like my, my brother said, you know, either bathe, drink from, anything to do with the water. Okay, so just anything to do with it. Yes. Okay. Is there like something in it? Like what? What's the catch? Oh, uh, it's just it's it's very clean. It's oasis, uh, natural. Is there, I mean, you're drinking it kind of now, but this has been stored. It, it's like the fresh water. The, Oh. Yeah, like mm, everyone's shark, got their traditions. This lady will yeah, say, uh, got their traditions. This lady will come over and be like, You haven't been to the oasis yet? I don't mind taking you. And who might you be? Uh, just a mystic. I wander around here and there. Interesting. Hey, Rambi, do you want to take a bath together? Rambi will uh, lift his eyebrow and go bath with a bird. Yeah. 
<laughs> Come on, right, Rambi. This wouldn't be the first time. Technically, Aqua Ocean or Aqua Road counts. Yeah, that was uh, my yearly bath. You know, I like my dirt. I like my uh, keeps me in touch with nature. <laughs> oh. I'll Always drink from it though. Oh, I bet a tribe in the forest who were like that too. Very smelly. <laughs> I don't sweat. It is just the mud on my feet. I mean, you don't need to sweat to smell. <laughs> She'll kind of look kind of. The mystic will kind of look at you guys and go, okay mm then, so. The oasis? Is there oh, is there a reason why we would need you to show us to the oasis? I mean, it's like they said, just right. Well, I want to show you a nice spot, uh, very close by. Don't worry about it. I uh, would love to take a bath. Can I make an insight check? Go ahead. <laughs> that is sus, bro. Oh, that's a twenty-one. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm using a love point, dude. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, let me... Okay, there you go. There's, there's, there's just a luck point. Watch me roll one. It was the same roll. Wait. No, it was no, it a little higher. It was a little bit higher. All right, well, I don't know. I don't know. What from, what, from what you can tell, she's just very friendly and honestly wants to show you a nice spot to view the oasis. Uh, wow, the, the locals here are so friendly. <laughs> well, I'm not really a local. I just kind of am visiting. I'm just passing through, you know, how mystics do. Oh, so you're, uh, you're an ops? Well, I guess you've... Proven yourself, but you know, I travel the desert and stuff. Okay, from the north, uh, I guess you can say I've been all over the desert here, seen all kinds of different interesting folk. Have you seen anything towards where uh, the west or where the genie is? Anything past there? Uh, no, just. Supposedly, you know, there's rumors of a lost city, but just rumors, you know, folklore never actually came to fruition. And I've seen it myself, been where, where they claims to be, it's just sand. I did see an interesting fellow while I was walking. He was on a boat, boat, so like, quote unquote well it was kind of gliding through the sand it was a wondrous thing i people are with their inventions i've never seen it before he was moving interesting this i think he was going toward he was coming from a um, geisha you know they them and their technology over there okay mm. Are, are y'all looking to go to the Oasis tonight? Or today? Oh, sure. Or, I don't know. Well, these potatoes are making me a bit thirsty, so... Oh, yes, my friend here. <laughs> and you can, like, throw you another water. No, no, oh, okay. oh. Just, uh, is oh you mean the Oasis? Yes, 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 yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I misunderstand. No, I appreciate it, though. Or shall we head over? <clears throat> Like, yes, if uh, do you want to drop off your things or you want to go right now? Actually, yeah, look, look, uh, I'd like to drop off some stuff. Oh, I'm good. I like to uh, keep my stuff on me. I, I, Ross is gonna go drop off stuff. Oh, uh, where, what room do we have? Oh, you guys got the big room, remember? Oh, right. Big right. room. Is, do I do I need like a key or anything? Did did he give us a key? <clears throat> uh, no, those should be unlocked. Just uh, you make uh, you go upstairs, make a right, and then uh, 
should be at the end of the hallway. Alright, you know what? Never mind. Let's just head over. Okay. Door being unlocked. Yeah. No thanks. <laughs> what do you mean, no thanks? This the room's... Of no, that's, out, he, that's out of character. I think he means, like, uh, oh, he... That's out of character. Oh, okay. That's out of character. Oh. <laughs> you should have a character voice like me. <laughs> and that I try, I tried, you know. <laughs> I can't, I can't exaggerate. I'm like super monotone, you know. Same with me. I tried my best too, but. I get her. Let's see, are you not wondering? Mm. I didn't do that. Let's see, it's not in the right NPC. Oh, yes, so uh, if you guys will follow me. This is the most inward part of the oasis that I've seen. You can see the water clearly yeah, shimmering. Wow, wow. Just be careful, it gets a little deep, and she'll kind of like point out here. It gets very deep over there. I mean, uh, you just kind of have to like drink from it or something, right? Again. I think it's just more interact with it in some way. <clears throat> interact with it in some well, way. Well, example, taking a bath or drinking from it. Yeah, whatever you guys want to do. Alright. Make my way. I'll, I'll make my way over and uh, just kind of use my hands. Just uh, wash my or just. Splash it on my face, just wash my face, and then afterwards, uh, just take a quick sip. Yeah. Ross, Ross will just look at Shisui and just cough the way he does. Oh, here we go. Hold my stuff. I give Kirika my bag. I take off, like, my outer robes. I just throw it on him, and he just, he becomes a pile <laughs> of clothes. I'm just gonna, like, <laughs> collapses to the ground. I'm under all the weight of the of everything that's been thrown at him. I'm down to just like some. Rambi will go over Please here. Tire, so I'm not fully naked. Oh hell no! I start splashing my wings <laughs> in the water, ducking my head underneath, getting all the sand out of my feathers. Okay, so, uh, so Justin. Hold on. Change the music. Alright, so out of character, Justin. Yep. So, uh, my inventory is empty, huh? What do you mean? Is it? Or is, or is it just buggy? Your inventory is full. Mm -hmm. Like, it has but, all your stuff. Alright, never mind then. I guess it's just buggy for me. Just like close it and double click it. Yeah. Again, if you if you opened it prior and then I made edits, it's gonna freak out. 
You just, so just close it and re-click your character. Oh, never mind, never mind. We're good. You know, I thought you thought you pulled the I got you, you know. Alright, anyways, sorry. Can continue. I mean, uh, once I've done that, I, I see Kiriko is just like, oh, I'll go help him out and uh, say, here, Kiriko, uh, turn your uh, spear upside down and stick it in the ground, and then I'll, uh, and then we'll put, we'll hang the clothes over the, the back end of the spear. He goes and does so, and you get, you start helping him, him throw up all the clothes up onto the spear. The mystic will, uh, Sit at a tree and kind of just observe you guys. Yeah. Beach scene. Here, Kirk, are you, uh. It's like you should go enjoy it as well. Here we go, we'll go in and stand next to Valia. I'm just. I'm kind of just. You know how birds bathe in a bird? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just splashing all around. <laughs> splashing my wings in and out. Ah, it's so refreshing. Finally got that quartz sand out of my feathers. And I, I look to I look to the mystic and I'll say, uh, so, I'll, here's the thing though. How does anyone know if uh, they've they've gone through this tradition? She'll uh, she'll point off towards the south. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure that's your guy right there. That'll uh, convince everybody. Oh. And you'll see Muhammad at the, uh, kind of observing you guys and sipping from the oasis himself. I'm guessing, uh, he's pretty influential around these parts. Yeah, he's pretty much the guy. If you can't convince him, you can't convince anyone. Good to know. Maybe we'll come out from the water and just be like, all right, I'm done. What did you think? It's water. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing special. Yeah. Well, every culture has their their own traditions. Well, can't judge, I guess. say about 50 minutes have passed and it's starting to get dark Ooh, that was so nice ah it's been so long since I've had a full bath like that you, you might want to back up a bit Roz all right back start up. shaking her feathers just water goes everywhere I'm gonna stay we'll get it splashed and just kind of Wipe it off her face. Yep, thanks for the warning. Ah, much better. Alright, Kiriko. So, come over. so, what was the sand that I heard you talking about with the owner? Uh, we were. We were basically looking to have, um, uh, uh, sorry, uh, could you repeat that? 
<laughs> Sorry, Justin. Could you repeat the name again? I did. I forgot to write it down. What? Mohammed, or the jeweler's name? Mohammed. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. Uh. So, yeah. No, we were um. Yeah, I've died for to mention to you. Uh, if you if you go to the open book, uh, tab, where the chat is after, there's a a section called player notes, and then you should have your own notebook if you want to take notes. So like Kurt's been taking notes for a little bit, just a little bit of notes. Where the chat is, like you got chat, counter, oh. scenes. It's the open book, it says journal. Gotcha. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so if you want to take notes or anything, you should be able to create pages also. If you want to have like different pages of it. I've just been like typing stuff on my notepad. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's fine. You can do that too, however you want. I use, I personally use OneNote to keep everything in set. I had it on D&D Beyond, but I deleted the character by accident, so oh, I lost no. my initial notes. It, I didn't have many notes at that point, so... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really start taking notes till probably the session. Yeah. And so uh, I didn't know why we were here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that part also doesn't help when our sessions are pretty... Uh, when the gap between sessions is long. I blame my work. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, and other things. But, yeah. Uh, to answer your question, yeah, we were looking to find a jeweler that could help us identify what kind of uh, ore or what, where exactly the contents of this sand that we have here uh, came from. You mind if I see it? Sure, and I'll uh, I'll pull out the vial. Is she? As you go uh, with her hand outreach, she'll uh, go to grass hands with you to grab it, make a wisdom saving throw. Fucking knew it. Uh, sorry, before I, before that, I just want to double check something here. Nine. I guess to us, he, it just looks like he's having a handshake. Actually, let me... Actually, what? No, no, no. Nine. As she as you go, you kind of feel it. Her uh, crush the glass. Oh, I'm so sorry. And, you, and your hand kind of jolts back. Here, let me. Uh, and she she'll pull out her own vial. Here, pour it in here. Uh, you'll feel like a pain, just kind of wavering in your hand from what seems to be the glass from the vial. As you're kind of like shaking it and a little bit of blood drops uh, are also getting into the vial and on under her hand. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. My mistake. I just oh, I, I don't know my own strength sometimes. Yes. Uh, and she'll kind of like be rubbing in the blood off her hand. Kind of just to get it off it, what it looks like to you. I've seen this sand before, but it's... There's not a lot of it. Um, it's towards the north. But... Like I said, there's not a lot of it. It's, they mainly refined a lot of it, it from a, into jewels. Mm, what, exactly? Sure. what exactly is it, though? It's just... um, It's like a s more, quote-unquote, pure sand that can be easily refined into different gems, mainly like garnet and other red-ish gems. Okay. As you see, uh, 
She'll go and hand you it back to your, you. Mm. And I'll grab the vial. I'm so sorry again. Didn't mean that. Didn't mean to injure you. Oh wait, did did he just take like damage damage? No. Uh oh, okay. Dang. Just minor scratches. Dang it. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to hear him just say dang it under his voice out of character <laughs> I, I want to cast spells man <laughs> oh, no worries no worries I just put the vial back in my pocket oops <clears throat> So what brings you to Orient, then? Uh, GM be doing things. <laughs> I don't like that. <clears throat> uh, yeah, what? Uh, it was just like, you know, visiting an old friend and then passing through, just going, making my way. Is there Wait, anything in uh, particular you were looking for? Oh my god. Just hold one second. She'll go there. Hold one second. Hold the wines open. Don't put her on the other side. Came in. Okay. Go high enough for her. Uh, Roz was just a uh, asking a question. Oh, I asked her if there was a, if there's anything she was like looking for in particular in our. Yeah. Actually, I don't think we got your name. Oh, uh, I'm just a mystic. I don't really like to give out my personal name. But... Oh, does do you have a, another name for yourself? Uh, not really. I'm like I said, just Mystic Mist. If you want. All right. So. You... All right. Sure. All right, well, we better head back in. It's starting to get laid out. <clears throat> yeah. Let's, uh, let's head back. And we make our way back to the tavern. Oh, Roz. Well, I think of it. Did you get my shovel? Oh, uh, ab about that, we, uh, no, <laughs> no, we did not get your shovel, I'm sorry. Someone owes me a new shovel. I mean, it's not like I, s I stole it from you. Oh, really? Well, no. who did steal it from me? All right, all right, let's, let's, let's not play this game. <laughs> I'll say, uh, <clears throat> tell you what, uh, see a shovel you want? Let me know. As long as it's not outrageously expensive. Oh. Like maybe, uh, over five gold that you threw away to a child? He technically stole that back. Yeah, and then I give it back. <laughs> as as a as a hey, you know, if you don't do retarded shit, 
you know, you might get rewarded, but you know. I'm just shaking my head, it's like... <laughs> Ross, but how you, much gold do you have? You, you can see Ross is actually visibly annoyed, though. But, uh... Uh, you know, just enough to, uh... She has to go back to the tavern. this adventure. Yes. Is it like nighttime now or something? It is 6 p.m. Mm. The night is still young. <laughs> Actually, there's something I need to. There's something I need to take care of real quick. Uh, I'm just gonna be in my. I'm just gonna be in the room for a little bit. I'll be back down later. All right. Uh, I guess holler if he something happens or something. I don't know. Sure. <clears throat> uh, will the stairs take me where I need to go, or they should I'm move down here? Okay, just making sure. Uh, if it didn't help, or you just move down. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> there's a wall. <laughs> Uh, so which room was it? Uh, far down. So the only one that's unlocked. Uh, the one on the left here? On the right. Or the one on the right? Okay. <clears throat> Whoops. So, uh... I'm basic, so I'm gonna put my stuff down, and I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna take the the one over here, uh, and I'm gonna pull out. I'm gonna sit on the bed. I'm gonna pull out Engetsu, that one that the uh, katana that's sheathed, uh, mm -hmm. that's locked, and I'm gonna just inspect it a bit. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for me for the most part. As you're inspecting it, you realize in the the sheath uh, by the blade of the where you would draw it from are um let's see, let me count these really quick are seven uh different slots where you can place something each having different shapes to them What shapes do we have here? Uh, make a perception check. So one second. Twenty one. What you can make out um, from your travels is a mushroom, a slime, a stump. An octopus, a lupin, a raccoon, and a ghost. Sorry, lupin, raccoon, ghost? Ghost, like a wraith. Gotta catch them all. Okay. Did you get uh, all of them? Yeah, I got, I got all of them. Uh, and thinking back to Mushroom, I'm gonna pull out that Mushroom eraser. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and stick it in that slot. As you go to put it into the slot, it kind of sucks it in and locks it into place. And you hear uh, that spectral voice again. Oh, I thought you were never going to do that. So you were the voice that I had heard. Uh, duh. Who else would have been talking to you in a whisper? 
<clears throat> what is your name? Does it have a name? Did I give it a name? That's a good question. Astrum. It's Excalibur, the talking sword. <laughs> it doesn't have a name to it. Ah, you have no name, huh? Uh... I'm going to call you Engetsu. Engetsu. I like it. So what do you what can you tell me about yourself? Other than well, your sword. I was abandoned. Uh, but oh. Apparently you can hear me, so that must mean you are one of the rightful owners of me. Do you remember your former owner? I do not. Where did you find me? Uh, I found you in Orbis Tower. How did I end up there? That was not where we were fighting last. Where were you fighting last? In the Elnath Mountains. Interesting. Do you remember what you were fighting against? I do not. A lot of my memory is... faded. That's something we share in common. I, uh... I'm a lot older than you think. I can tell. Though, <laughs> do you remember how recently this fight was? Or I guess that's also faded as well. Years. It feels like. Hmm. And this seal that you have, or this lock here, was this? Do you was this lock there before? It's always been a part of me, but the last owner I had collected everything to unlock me. My true potential, or my full potential. Interesting. I'll have to see if I could find those other slots. Do you... Do you happen to know where they might be? Scattered, obviously. Do they always come in that same form, like this, like little rubber thing, or is it? They're erasers. Okay. Mementos of monsters that I fought. Okay. I'll see what I can do with that. In the meantime, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out of my dimension, I'm gonna pull out Zanga too. And uh and just show us like yeah, well, this is what I've got right now. But uh so you guys will pretty much be partners in the meantime until I can unsheathe you. A magic another magic sword. Interesting. Yeah, this is uh, something my master uh, entrusted with me. You have your own master? Yes. Uh, I don't know, how well do you know this world? You said your master traveled, but what do you remember in terms of where you've been? Without the rest of my erasers, I can't say. I remember. 
well, well, I see it, what looks like a stump here, and stumps are pretty common from where I'm from, over in, uh, on on Victoria Island in um, in. Paris. I remember Victoria Island. I don't remember a lot of it though. Do you remember the the mountainous region? I believe so. That's where you would usually find those stumps. That is not where we got this eraser from, though. Hmm, interesting. I know... Let's see, where else would stumps... I know there might be some towards Kerning City. Though those are few and far between. Maybe even... Uh... Yeah. Well, I guess, uh... We'll figure it out. I trust you. Well, thank you. Uh, Let me just put this right here. Uh, then we'll cut back over to everyone else. And the mystic has left for the night. Um, it's and just that's how Kiriko got in trouble. Yeah, that's not how I remember it, Ross. You know. Wow, I can't believe you're such a troublemaker. And you should have heard what happened to Nineheart. You know, he used to have a beard till someone had to throw a dagger, or was it a throw throwing star? I mean, come on, he looks way better without a beard. I mean, yeah, 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 he does. Uh, yeah, don't regret that. So, how long have you two known each other? Uh, it's been a while, you know. At least for me, my time at uh, Arev has just blurred together. Do you know Kiriko? Well, I'm older than you, Roz. Well, that that answers your question. <laughs> I guess in a weird roundabout way, it kind of does if you really squint and look at it. I mean, hey, I'm I'm not the type to really keep track of how long I've known someone. People come and go. True, true. Ah, uh, I've met so many people. So many unforgettable stories and cultures. I mean, really some would just pass right by. Everyone flows in and out. Like a, like a stream. Well, uh, You'll see Rambi kind of get up and excuse himself. As he's going to head to bed for the night. Oh, you tired, Rambi? Yeah. There she goes. <clears throat> well, uh, maybe you can share one of the stories sometime. Oh, oh where do you even begin? Here, you'll hear the door open, and you'll see Rambi come in and just kind of flop onto the bed. <laughs> oh, you have a good night, Rambi. Uh, you too. Just. <laughs> so how did how did you meet uh, the the others, Shisuri and Rambi? Well, believe it or not, you know, one day they showed up, showed up to Rev. They were like, "Hey, I'm he I'm here for the thing," and he was like, "All right, cool," and then. You know, one thing led to another. Intruder. Someone, you know. Uh, someone comes in, not supposed to be there. And they're like, hey, go go find that person. Uh, and, you know, here we are. Okay, go speak up. Rami tried to throw a roll at the bad guy. <laughs> Have a chuckle to himself. 
he also tried to get me to throw a roll on top of his roll. I um, must say, you are an awful storyteller. I do not think it is the right career for you. I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd have to agree. <laughs> 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 Sip some more water and wine. <laughs> yeah, Ross, Ross just sips some, uh... He's just sipping on water, I think. I don't think alcohol's quite his jam right now. Ah, oh, do you not drink? Uh... No, not really. Especially, oh. especially in, uh... Especially where we're at. It's a little bit, uh... I mean, you, you've experienced it. It's a little bit sketchy around these parts, so... Best... I th I think best for me to at least try and be a little bit. <laughs> I understand that. I, for one, will always embrace a good old tavern. <laughs> I love trying out the different specialties. Well, I'm glad. I gotta least... say... One of us is. When you're working and researching all the time, it's nice to just relax for the night. The good old pint. Yeah, that's very reasonable. Um, <clears throat> and uh, Ross, Ross lets out a big yawn. <sighs> well, the owner will come over. My friends, uh. We are closing up shop for the night. Uh, final call for the kitchen. Otherwise, uh, please uh, take your room. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Just about to head up right now. Hmm. Why don't we uh, go get some sleep, huh? Yes. I must say, this heat really does make me tired. I'm usually not oh. one for an early night, but... Sometimes it's relaxing as well. Tell me about it. And, uh, yeah. It's sleep time. Bedtime. Hey, yo. Oh? Tokens go. Uh, to the in an orbis. <laughs> yeah, I'm in orbis. Crap, go through it again. Uh, go oh my god, that. there's two of me. <laughs> oh, where am I? I need to know that. I have to name them properly then. Okay. Sick. So, Go ahead and try it again. All right, round two. There you go. Don't bring me to Orbis, please. <laughs> Instant transmission. Ah, uh, where am I? Find token. That's not the find token button. All right, there you go. Can't wait to see what the room looks like. Well, we did get a get the big one, so. Is it this one? As you walk in, you notice a giant table. Oh. Stop. There we go. Here, go go back to the door. Ross, come on, you know, lock it. You no, know, no, lock the door behind him. Oh, all right, you locked it. All right. 
I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna lock it and then tell me to lock it, you know. Uh, guys, we got a problem. I don't see a problem. The master bed's what? open. <laughs> what's, what's the problem? And then Kiri will go. Kiri will go. One big bed. There's a. Uh, there's only four spots to sleep. You know what, Kiriko? Why don't you, uh, why don't you share with uh, Valia? She's open to it. Now, uh, is there like a? What is this? <laughs> what is that? I was also curious. I have no idea what it was on this map. Oh, I, I like, couldn't. I couldn't edit the map, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's a chair. Oh. I, I want to say it's a chair. I, I, I couldn't edit the, no, the map. No, no, no. I know exactly what this is. It's a mannequin with a dress on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I see it, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh... Just, you're take, sliding. I'll just sleep on the floor. Uh, I'll, I'll take, like, a, a blanket and, like, a pillow from the big bed. Here you go. We'll uh, kick the off the, the bear skin. I'll take the bear skin. I'll take the bear skin. <laughs> Here, Oz, and like, kind of kick it off. And, I'm uh, surprised Rami didn't take it. Honestly. And, uh, I don't I'll, think. Uh, fly out the bear skin, put the pendulum on it, use my jacket as a blanket, and, uh, it's lights out. Malia has a bedroll if she, if you want. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's too late. Only if he asks for it. It's it's way too late for that. It's too, it's too, it's late. too awkward now. I, I I literally just set everything up. It's way too late for that. Do I have one? No, I don't. Yeah, it's way too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna wait a minute, Phil. If oh, if Zangatsu's all, if Zangatsu's still, out, I'm just gonna dismiss him and put him back or put him away. Okay. I'll just stay up for another hour or so, writing in my journal, and then once that's finished, just go to sleep. Uh, while Ross is falling asleep, he's just looking at his locket that he received as becoming a Nightwalker. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he just thinks to himself, God, I'm back in this fucking place. And he'll fall asleep. Well, and at that point, we can pretty much wrap up this session. Unless anybody has anything else they want to do last minute for their character. I would say just for a little bit more flavor. Um, I think while he sleeps... He has a dream of running through an alley. Running away from guards. And turning. Yeah, and he's like tossing and turning in his sleep. Yeah, as he's as he's running through the alley, he sees the he sees that child thief again and immediately is just running scared. Russ! <laughs> uh, Russ! Uh, what turning? Uh, uh. You're ruining my concentration. I'm I'm literally on the floor. How am I? How am I ruining your concentration? Noise. He just he just goes back to sleep, not acknowledging that. 